in front of it or something like that. Huh. Is, is that a thing? Mm. Or it, it might be the humpback whale that actually does okay, that. Okay, because I was like, it's too good if it's the sperm whale. Yeah, well, I mean, sperm point. whales also have an enormous amount of gum. <laughs> I mean, they are quite large, I yeah. imagine. <laughs> I feel like um, you all see much more... Um, drained after that one than the last one there was a lot of there was a lot there was a lot of like things going on like you said there was like world building that Mm -hmm. was going on so i was like kind of following the world and the descriptions of everything were so excessive that i was like just kind of dead panning off into the distance like okay yeah. it's like jrr <laughs> tolkien was like <laughs> describing the dew on the grass our I, combined slick on the glowing earth like i was just like okay yeah right. <laughs> I, I don't think it's so much that we are drained i can't speak for coco but like <laughs> i mostly was just listening intently i was like this is this is kind of gorgeous I, yeah. I, and i'm just like i did you know there were definitely times where i had to Hi, my Snickers, but like for the most part, I was like, oh, this is just good lit. I'm just here to hear the story, spin that yarn. And yeah, it was just lower like story time than laughing at a funny. Yeah. Um, one thing I thought about, and I don't think this story particularly done it, but a thing I left out and we can cut this if you want. But another thing as far as like the believer's side of theories is they talk about that maybe the not deer are skinwalkers or windigos. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. The thing I want to say, and again, if you want, we want to cut it, that's fine too. But like, I, um, I think it's just worth noting that specifically the skinwalker, I think is a little bit more uh, sacred to indigenous populations because like the basic story of that creature is that it was once a medicine person and then they turned into a skinwalker. Yeah, they Mm -hmm. did a bad thing. And then, so they got cursed basically. Yeah. And so I think as like non-native white people like non-indigenous people like probably should stay away from that one uh you know it just it feels like icky and that's you know but there are people that theorize that and whatnot but um you know i think like what i try to do when i research monsters like because a lot of them do have origins and like indigenous stories i try to make sure not to touch on the ones that are sacred because probably shouldn't sexualize them if it's sacred to some (laughs) people's culture that that seems pretty fair yeah yeah but yeah so like you know that's just another one of the theories but again one that i don't cotton to per se makes me think of american gods actually that whole story made me think of that um i don't know so there are some like notes behind the story and um it had something to do with i don't know if Old Gods of Appalachia, mm-hmm. that there's a podcast or something. And so they took mm. like the green from that, I think. And okay. then Tomara is actually taken from Boku no Hero uh, Academia, the uh, comic and anime. Oh I don't God. know if you all. Okay. No, I'm somewhat familiar. From. I'm assuming not that character. Yeah, the name. So like the, the character whose name they took um, causes destruction with a touch. And ah. so they kind of took that, this God of Decay sort of like mm-hmm. would have use, it. yeah yeah the name. i like yeah. that i like yeah. that yeah that also that character that they're talking about is an adult i will go ahead and just put that out there yeah because Good. there yeah, are a lot a of characters in that uh comic that are children so we will not. yeah i think there was another interesting thing about that story is like it's like it's a coming of age story but for a god because like you yeah. know there's a lot of implication that this god was a virgin yeah and i was just like huh what a twist. What a dweeb. What a dweeb. <laughs> <laughs> Loser. What's up, dweeb? <laughs> hey, everyone's going to have the first time so eventually. I'm, I'm, I'm not by choice. Oh, so you're an incel. Uh-oh. No. Oh, back to the no, incel. Wait. Oh, boy. Why don't you just call me human again? Or am I female? Oh. <laughs> Let me see your sword collection, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> God of Destruction. Do you do all your shopping at the mall? I got a buster sword on my wall. <laughs> The mall ninja shit. <laughs> mall ninja shit. I was going to make a Magic the Gathering joke, but I've met a lot of people who play Magic who aren't like that. But I do want to just be like, let me sh- let me see your fucking deck, bro. <laughs> I mean, we play D&D, so I mean, can we yeah. really joke about that too much? No. They're a different Huge community. <laughs> I, 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 I think I, there is some overlap. There's, there's some, some o- big overlap, Definitely. but they are a different community. Yeah. It's a very different way of thinking about playing a game. Yeah. To me, I, I could never get into it because it's too, it's too structured. Yeah. But yeah. I, I understand for a lot of people who can't do completely unstructured that it's much easier or more fun to have like 
everything kind of preset and imagined for you. Yeah. But like if I'm trying to play a game and like the rules are basically just that I have to follow these cards in whatever order they come to me, I'm like, and that's cool, but can't we just like, I don't know, go fight a sexy dragon or something? <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> so special thanks to listening. Uh, find us on Twitter and Instagram at Love at First Sighting. Um, we are on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. We also have a Gmail. Please write to us. L-A-F-S-P-O-D at gmail.com. That's laughspod at gmail.com. Send us sexy stories. Send us like your comments. Maybe w- there's a correction. If we need to be called out, whatever. We love it. Thank you again. Appreciate it. Tell your friends. Have them come listen. And uh, watch the shadows, sweeties. Stay horny, babes. Go fuck a monster. (laughs) 